Hi everyone, um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to convert uh, a bit of video content that is um, an mp4 file and how to use it properly in the correct codec in Isadora. Uh, the first thing you need is this amazing software called Shutter Encoder. I highly recommend it. Um, drag your video file in and go to the function and convert to HA. Now you can either pick standard, alpha or Q. Standard is standard, nothing too fancy, does the job, very good quality. Alpha is when you need transparency, obviously, alpha in your video. And Q stands for high quality mode, which will make a bit of a bigger file size. and um, Just all around a little bit better. I tend to stick between standard and alpha, to be honest. Click start. It's going to export it um, and put it on my desktop. It'll tell me when it's done. There it is. So there we have the video converted to HAP and it automatically puts underscore HAP. One thing though, when I hold my mouse over it, it's a MOV file, M-O-V, which is a QuickTime file. Okay, um, that's not what we want. We need AVI. It very clearly says on the Isadora website that you need HAP AVI. So how do we do that? Because there was actually no settings to do that. But you can do it. You need to go back here and change this to rewrap, okay? Drag the hat video back in here, and now we can convert it to AVI. So what this will do is keep the codec as hat, but change the wrapper to AVI. And I'm gonna change it to the, the um, same place, and click Start, and it will create another one. And there we have our third video. If I hover my mouse over this, you can see now it's AVI file. Now if I open Isadora, I'll get rid of the last videos I did as a test, so this is completely fresh. And go file import, find the video, I'm going to import the original one, show you how bad it is, and the HAP AVI. Oh, that's the wrong one, that's the HAP QuickTime. So let me bring the correct one in, must be this one. There we go, HAP API. First thing, let me turn the volume down. So the video plays and it's pretty good performance. There it is, VJ Loop MP4. It will play the video. Now this can be deceptive because we can add we can add stuff to it, you know, we can add effects and it'll do an okay job. But trying to do anything like playing the video backwards, like minus one, it freezes. Isadora just can't play this video and it's not Isadora's fault. It, it's the wrong codec. So this isn't my complete, you know, this isn't the recording freezing this. Everything else is moving smoothly and nicely. Isadora just can't play this video um, in this way. Um, it can just about play it on like 85% forward. It's a little bit stuttery, but it's just about doing it. So let's put it in the correct codec, HAP ABI, which is index two. Now we can play it backwards. You know, if you want to play the video backwards, go for it. If you want to play it on 0 0.85, it'll do it absolutely perfectly. You can even have um, ping pong mode on where it'll play the video forwards and then backwards again. It will work super, super efficient. Um, so that's what you want. Stop using MP4. Take the time to convert your uh, video files and content to have AVI. So there you go. That's how you do it.